right in terms of the prime factorization. Remember, we have two different types of numbers. We have prime numbers and we have composite numbers. Prime numbers have only the factor one and the number itself. A composite number has more than two factors. So let's look at 80. We know several things about 80. There's lots of factors maybe you can think of. I know that two is a factor because the last dig digit is even. That means two is a factor or a divisor. We also know that this ends in zero, so five is a factor as well. So you can choose one. Uh, you really don't have to pick either of those. What if we did eight and 10? Because anything that ends in a zero is also divisible by 10. I remember, I don't always have to choose primes to do this factor tree. I eventually get to primes, but I don't have to start with a prime. So eight is four times two. I circle the prime. And then four is two times two. Both of these are primes, so I circle them. Then I look at the prime factorization for 10. That's two times five, and both of those are prime. So then we look at 80 and we say, okay, well that's two times two times two times two. We always write them in order. Notice I have one, two, three, four of those times five. Let's check our answer. There we go. And you could also write this with exponents. This is two. There are one, two, three, four of them. Two to the fourth times five. Okay, again, I want to stress, I do not have to choose a prime number to start this. I can pick composite numbers. I'm going to keep breaking this down, though, until everything I have at the end of these little um, brackets will be prime numbers. Let's do some more. 86. So 86. Again, there are lots of different things you can multiply together to get 86. I'm just going to go ahead and start with a divisor of 2. I know that because this is even. The last dig digit is even. So I know this is divisible by two. And I'm writing this in different ways. This number is divisible by two. We could also say two is a factor. So the language means the same thing, just trying to show you different ways of writing these things. Okay, well then 86 divided by two, what's that, 43? 86 divided by two is 43. And you can keep trying, let's see. Okay, can we divide 43 further? Can we break that down further? We know this one's prime, so I can circle it. So 43, let's go through 43. Okay, well, we know it's not divisible by two because it's not even. It's not divisible by anything even. Okay, then we check, is it divisible by three? So four plus three equals seven. Remember, if a number is divisible by three, the digits will add up to a multiple of three. So it's not divisible by three. So if again, if a number is divisible by three, if you add up the digits, the sum of the digits will be a multiple of three. So that's why we did this. Four plus three is equal to seven. That is not a multiple of three, so it's not divisible by three. Okay, and we said it's not divisible by any even number. It's not divisible by five because it does not end in a zero or a five. And you keep going down the list, right? So let me write down what we've eliminated. Two, we said that won't work. Three, we said it won't work. All other evens we've thrown out. 5 won't work because it doesn't end in a 0 or a 5. 6 doesn't work because it's not divisible by 2. It's not divisible by 3. 7, let's try 7. Okay, well, 7 times what is 43? Well, I know 7 times 6 is 42, so that's not going to work. Okay, we can't try any more evens. 9 won't work because it's not divisible by 3. And you keep going down the list. 10. We know that won't work because it's not divisible by two or five. 11, let's try 11. Well, 11 times three is 33. 11 times four is 44. So definitely not divisible by 11. And again, you can just type this in a calculator and check it, but I want you to understand another way to do this. And we keep going, right? Um, 12 doesn't work because two doesn't work and three doesn't work. Um, 13, well, 13 times one is 13. 13 times 2 is 26. 13 times 3 is 39. Okay, well, 43 is not 13 away from 39, so 13 doesn't work. And you keep going down the list, right? 14 doesn't work because it's even. 15 doesn't work because these two guys don't work, 3 and 5. Okay, so if you think about your next prime number, okay, what is that, 17? Well, try it. 43 divided by 17. 17 times 2 is 34, and 43 and 34 aren't 17 away from each other. 17 times 3 is 51. 
That one doesn't work. And you keep going down the list, right? Turns out 43 is prime. So I can actually circle it. The more you do this, the more comfortable you're going to be with which numbers are actually prime. And you'll be able to check this more quickly. Okay, so let's check our answer. Do we get 2 times 43? We do. Okay, let's try another one. 90. Okay, so 90. I'm going to do 9 times 10. I don't always have to think with a prime number. Remember, I can pick two composite numbers. 9 times 10. Well, 9 has factors of 3 and 3. Those are both primes, so I can circle them. 10, I can break that down into 2 and 5. Okay, then I put them in order. 90 equals 2. Okay, then I write the next smallest prime. 3, there's two of them. Write it twice. Times 5. Let's check. Is that the right answer? Yep. Remember, you can also write this as 2. 3, there's two of them, so it's 3 squared times 5. Let's do some more. Okay, 100. So you may know right away, well, that's 10 times 10. So you can do 2 times 5, 2 times 5. So we get 2 times 2 times 5 times 5, and that should give us 100. So again, you could have also done this as 4 times 25 and broken it down even further. Again, there's many, many, many ways to do this. You just have to keep start with whatever factors you are comfortable with and keep going until everything is prime. So let's check. Yep, we got the right answer. This could also be written as 2 squared times 5 squared. Okay, so these are just practice for you. I encourage you to write these down, try them on your paper, and then check them with what I get. Okay, 195. Not really sure what to do because this ends in a 5. I know I can use a 5 right here. Okay, but then maybe you have to divide it out. So 195 divided by 5. 5 times 3 is 15. 45, so it looks like a 9. 39. Okay, you can again, you can use a calculator. 5 is prime. 39 is not. So 39, I know, is divisible by 3. Because 3 plus 9 is 12. And this is a multiple of 3. So remember, if you are if you add up the digits and you get a multiple of 3, you know 3 is a divisor. So 3 times what? Okay, it looks like 13. Okay, and we know 13 is prime. So 195 is 3 times 5 times 13. We know multiplication is commutative, so 5 times 3 times 13 still gives 195, but we write this in terms of smallest prime factors, and then we go bigger and bigger and bigger. So let's check our answer. 3 times 5 times 13, is that right? Yep. Let's do another one. 231. 231. Okay, I really don't know what to do because it's not even. Those are the easiest ones that are even. I know I can start with a 2. Doesn't end in a 5 or a 0. So it's not divisible by 5. I'm going to try my trick of 3. So I'm going to add the digits. 2 plus 3 plus 1. I get 6. And 6 is a multiple of 3. So I know 3 is a divisor. Okay, so 231 divided by 3. 3 doesn't go into 2, so I need to look at 3 times what is 23. So 7. 7 times 3 is 21. Let me erase that line. And then 23 minus 21 is a 2. So it looks like we get 77. 77 is not prime, so we have to keep going. Both of the digits are the same, though. So we know that 11 is a factor. 11 times 7. Both of these are prime. So 231 is 3 times 7 times 11. Again, notice how I'm doing this. I am putting these in the smallest order, starting with 3, then the next smallest, which is 7, and then 11. Let's check our answer. Perfect. Let's do some more. 